Okay, welcome aboard. This is going to be a fast little video where we take a look at how to uh, assign a max script controller to a float here. We drop our float out here. Let's actually rename it to frame rate because we want to create an operator that we can call up at any time that will automatically tell us the frame rate uh, that our scene is currently set to. So, like right now, we're set to film, FPS is 24. We're going to take that frame rate float, right click in its value field and say show in track view. And TP by default brings up the selected track view and of course TP is not selected so we don't see anything. Uh, so what we need to do is modify this so it's not the selected stuff. Here's our helper for frame rate. And the value, we're going to go ahead and assign a controller. And um, this is where we have our choice of options here. We could assign an audio float controller if you want to access an audio file. Um, you could do an, a float expression if you want to access a controller on another object or maybe a, a modifier value from another object. Uh, in our case, we're going to go ahead and use just a float script. And this float script, we're going to go ahead and just type in the max script command to get the frame rate, which is frame rate, evaluate, and hit close. And now what we'll see is that when we select this operator, or this helper, it shows us that the frame rate is 24. And for our friends in Europe, if we say PAL, it shows up also as 25. And I guess PAL's in more places than just Europe, of course, but you know what I mean. So we could do, actually let's do custom next, uh, let's say 300. And of course it also shows 300. Now this is just one way. Um, that we can use um, MaxScript in TP4. One of the most exciting things about TP4 is the new TP script operators where we have the capability of programming our own native uh, script operators inside TP. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at, those, look at those in the next upcoming videos. So we have a bunch of different categories that we can create, uh, different types of operators. So pretty exciting stuff, so we'll move on to that next.